Crummins. Really eyes wide, knows she's just got 200 more meters to go, which after 25 laps really is, seems like a long way. The gap really is widening here. Salpeta now entering the home straight and chasing that gold medal. Very good running indeed here from the Israeli. Krumin's now also entering that home straight. And Salpeta approaching the finish line very nicely indeed. Not too far off that personal best she set earlier. Fantastic. 31, 43, 29. And Krumin's now leaning forward. Really gave it her all. Exhausted, but absolutely delighted with that silver medal for the Dutch woman there in second. And you can see Krumin's in the background, but gave it her all to get that silver medal. Fantastic performance. Currently in second, Paulina Guba of Poland, behind the reigning champion, Schwanitz. <gasps> and it's a big one. She knows it, and that looks to have moved her in the lead. So two Germans both been moved down by a place in the last couple of minutes. Guba there, fantastic performance from the pole. Let's wait for that result. I'll tell you what, after two gold medals in the men's throws last night, morale must be riding high in the Polish camp. 19.33 there. Fantastic. Leeds and Kan Schwanitz answer that is the question it's far but i don't think it's far enough and that means poland gets yet another gold medal in the shot put and in the throws they've really excelled here Schwanitz will have to settle for second. But what a competition we've seen, really. The medal positions between the three throwers, Schwanitz, Guba and Dubitskaya there, changing throughout the rounds. And she can't be too disappointed with that Schwanitz. As we mentioned, had a car accident a couple of weeks ago, injured her hand, had a whiplash child two children twins last year and a silver medal at a european championships is not a bad way to finish a home championships there is that throw again just went out to the side a little but you can see in her face she knows it's not quite enough as Guba realizes she has won the European title. And it's not all over for Polish throwing, of course. Later on in the week, we've got in the women's hammer, Anita Vlodacz. So what, a, what an array of medals that would be if she could also take gold. Three to go through. Oh, there's a little old fall but there, and there is a fall up. Well, that, in fact, is the Frenchman, Alexis Millet, who's got very quickly back to his feet again and uh, Philip Inga Brigson so there's a shock the defending champion it looks like he's got no chance now because it's Inga Brigson trying his best to make up ground he's got an awful lot to do merely at the back there so a shock immediately there with Inga Brigson a sufferer as he fell so the real close packed uh, coming up to the bell But Inga Brixen is back there, so he really did have to work hard to do that. 2.46.35 at the bell, all to play for, three to go through. But Inga Brixen has recovered from that fall, I'm delighted to say. A nasty fall there, just let's see how it happened, I think just clipping each other's legs there. Inga Brixen, you see it left right at the top, and when the other man went down, really he had no chance at all. But fortunately, quickly back and into his running. And there's a group of four at the front, and it could be decent on times as well. 
It's coming round the outside is Grice, the British athlete. But it's still Lewandowski strong enough. Ingebrigtsen coming through on the inside there. Grice on the outside. And it is on the line. It's Lewandowski first across the line. Then Grice and Ingebrigtsen are the three who get through. Well, Ingebrigtsen recovered from a nasty fall. Luckily, it was soon enough to give him time to come back. He worked really hard on lap three to make it. And he had the strength to come through to win it. And well, he is celebrating there. He's very relieved to have made that by a whisker. Showed some strength. Well, now we finally see her, Mirella Demireva. The Bulgarian. No, no height there, really. Personally speaking, I think she's made a big mistake passing. Well, it's a big gamble, certainly one can say that. But uh, she obviously is fresher, but uh, this is, uh, will be a considerable achievement. It well, it would equal her personal best if she did get over it. And she's only ever cleared two metres on one occasion. Second attempt of Mirella Demereva. Well, I'll give a big shout out for Demirel, Eva. She did some promotional work with us and uh, recorded a few promotional videos for these championships about six weeks ago. No, stuttered and never really again got off the ground. So, rueful looks towards a coach from the silver medalist at the last European Championships. She's got one more attempt at this height. It would better be better than the last two that she's had. This is see Demireva getting her shoes back on after an extended break. The Bulgarian not taking attempts at 196 or 198. If Demireva doesn't clear two metres, she's down in fifth. For Marilla Demireva. The mathematics are very simple. Clears at least a share of the silver medal. Oh, and she goes clear. It's a magnificent jump from Demereva. Applause from Lazit Skenner. Really a clutch jump from Demereva. Two very, very mediocre attempts at this height. But now gets it all together. And she is a ferocious competitor at the big occasion, is Demereva. Set a personal best when getting the silver medal in the Olympic final in Rio equals her personal best here in Berlin. Oh, Something's that, happened there with. I think oh. she's got a nosebleed, Mazaronak. Yes, I, would, I didn't think I'd seen a fall or anything like that. It's obviously going to affect her. Yes, that's very unfortunate indeed. I'm just looking, we've got a water station coming up very shortly, so I wonder whether that might help a little, just clear her up. I think that's something that, of course, you're quite conscious of, but certainly not the best to happen 10 kilometers into a marathon. We can see her there trying to just make it stop a little. She's been able to clean up a little bit, but still evidence of the earlier nosebleed. Uh, there we could just see a member of medical staff running on the course and just handing her a tissue so she can clean herself up a little. Just making sure that bleeding actually stops. Some good handover there, some relay action in this marathon. Don't often see that. Uh, good response as well from the local organisers to take that in hand. Well, it looks as though the nosebleed has started again. I'm just impressed at how she manages to sort herself out there all running at that pace. Here they come. They nearly missed the bend there. They're being let down the European mile. The French woman just got a bit of an advantage because Mazuranak went a bit too far there. So Calvin now on the shoulder of Mazuranak, both still looking very strong. And that was a decisive moment there when Mazuranak went just a little bit further around the bend. Calvin really, they're side by side as they go round 
the corner to that European mile. The crowds are there. There's just a few more hundred meters to go. Mazuranak now really sprinting away from the French woman. The French woman has given her all in her debut marathon. Mazuranak looks like she has it built up a huge gap there over the last few meters between her and Calvin. It looks like the Belarusian takes it. Fantastic race from her with that early nosebleed she's had. She looks around, she knows she's got it, grits her teeth just that little bit further and now is the European champion Volha Mazuranak. Volha Mazuranak is the champion. Gets a hug from Berlino. <laughs> Well, the first Belarusian ever to win the women's marathon.